Hi all, today we are going to discuss about the capacitance of a two wire transmission line. Let us assume the two transmission lines are there or two conductors are there. One is having a charge of plus lambda and the second one is having a charge of minus lambda coulombs per meter length and they are spaced at distance d from each other. And let us also assume that the radius of each conductor is equal to r and this r is always far far less than the distance of separation between them. So these two conductors I am representing here, the distance of separation between them is d. The distance of separation between them is d and one is carrying the negative charge, another one is carrying the positive charge. So the potential of the second point will be negative and the potential of conductor A will be positive or we can tell the zero potential will come somewhere in between these two conductors that means zero potential line will be somewhere in between these two conductors let us assume that i am considering at a point x from the first conductor at a distance x so with respect to the second conductor it will be d minus x so it is making an x so at this point let us assume i want to find the electric field so if you want to find the electric field at this point we know due to the first charge because it is a positive charge the force or the electric field will be from positive charge towards the negative charge or towards infinite so this will be the direction of electric field due to the first charge now because of the second conductor which is carrying a negative charge or negative charge so automatically the electric field due to this one also will be in the same direction it will be attractive it will be in the same direction so if you want to calculate the electric field due to the first charge or electric field due to conductor a i can write as e1 is equal to lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into it is at a location x we are finding so x and it will be directed in the direction from a to b so this is due to plus lambda or due to conductor a now due to minus lambda the electric field at this point will be lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught into the distance that it is separated will be d minus x in the direction from a to b so we can tell that the total electric field at this point will be vector sum of these two so electric field at point x will be the vector sum of e1 plus e2 this will be equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught x in the direction from a to b and the second one will be lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught into d minus x this is also directing from a to b so they can be directly added so this will become lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught into 1 by x minus 1 by d minus x in the direction of ax this is what we get so now if you want to find the potential between the two points the potential will be the integration of this electric field intensity we know that in a conductor the electric field is equal to zero and the limits will start only from the surface of one conductor to the surface of second conductor because both the conductors are having equipotential surfaces only because we have already seen in our previous class inside the conductor electric field is zero so electric field will start only from the surface of the conductor to and it terminates at the surface of second conductor obviously so that's why whatever the limit you are taking that limit will be taken from d minus r to i have to take up to r and this will be lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught because this is minus of integration so minus i am taking this will be 1 by x plus 1 by d minus x this is in the direction of dx so you agree with me so this i can write as lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught into 2 times of ln of d minus r divided by r this is what we get so this i can write as lambda by pi epsilon naught into ln of d minus r divided by r so practically the value of d is far far greater than r so due to this i can assume that d minus r is approximately equal to d because distance is very high so we can define my potential between these two points will be lambda divided by pi epsilon naught into ln of d by r this is what we get so this potential is between two points a and b please remember this one so from this i can calculate my capacitance between two points cab will be equal to the lambda divided by v this will be pi epsilon naught divided by ln of d by r remember here because we are taking lambda naught q so this will become equal to farads per meter so we got the capacitance between the two points cab is pi epsilon naught by ln of d by r so this is the voltage between two conductors but i told you that zero potential will happen somewhere in between or with respect to the reference point each conductor is having a potential of v by 2 that means two conductors are there this is my reference point because this is carrying plus lambda this is carrying minus lambda if you take the your total voltage is equal to v 
then the voltage between this reference point and this one will be half and this will be divided as half because in between voltage will become equal to zero or we can tell the capacitance due to any one conductor either ca or cb with respect to the reference point will be that lambda divided by voltage we have to take per conductor that will be v by 2 so this will become equal to 2 lambda divided by v or this will become 2 times of cab let us try to calculate the capacitance for meter length of each conductor so ca will be equal to cb is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught divided by ln of d by r this will be in farads per meter this is the formula for this one and sometimes because practically if you seek the power system scores we represent there in logarithmic scale not in the ln scale so we already know that the log x to the base a will be can be written as in terms of natural logarithm this i can write as ln of x divided by ln of a ln of x divided by ln of a or in our case we have the something like ln of x so how to calculate this ln of x so ln of x is equal to ln a multiplied by log x to the base a so in our case generally that log is to the base 10 so this will be ln of 10 multiplied by log x to the base 10 so in this form i can convert this ln of x to logarithmic scale so if you convert and substitute the values you will get it as 0 0.0241 divided by log to the base 10 of d by r microfarads per kilometer length so this is the capacitance due to each conductor ca is equal to cb is equal to this much so this way you have to calculate the capacitance between the conductors i hope how to calculate the capacitance between two conductors of a transmission line is completely clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much